Hello everyone! I am Teacher Ian from KMP, Kubes Music Play. Our topic for today is all about parts of the drumstick and how to handle it properly. Let's go! Bago tayo mag-start, meron muna akong katanungan sa inyo. And i-comment ninyo sa baba kung ano yung inyong kasagutan para may subscribe ko din ang channel ninyo. Now, let's proceed to our topic. Again, our topic is all about the parts of the drumstick and how to handle it properly. As you can see, merong mga numbers kayong makikita sa drumstick. Merong 7A, 5A, 5B, and 2B. So, it tells about the size of the drumstick. When you see 7A, it means small. 5A, medium. 5B, large. And 2B, extra large. Ang gamit kong drumstick na yan ay Kessler. So, itong Kessler ay mura lang. 5A siya. So, ang size niya ay medium. Ngayon, di-discuss natin kung ano-ano yung mga parts ng drumstick na hawak natin. Ang tawag dito sa dulo ay tip. Dito naman ay shoulder. Again, tip, shoulder. Ito naman katawan, tinatawag nating body or shelf. Tip, shoulder, body or shelf. At butt. Again, tip, shoulder, body or shelf, butt. Okay? So that's the part of the drumstick. Now, let's proceed sa proper handling ng stick. Ano ba ang tamang paghawak ng drumstick? So, meron tayong five fingers. Okay? Yung five fingers na yan, dalawa dyan, itong dalawa, thumb and index finger, these two fingers, ito po ang gagamitin ninyo pang hawak sa stick. So, ang drumstick merong balance point. Ano ba ito yung balance point? This two. Sample. Hawakan natin dito sa dulo. Now, Hawakan natin dito sa balance point niya. Yung balance point, kung saan mo makukuha yung mas maraming bounce. Sabi ko kanina, itong dalawang fingers na to, itong thumb and index, sila yung ahawak at magpipwersa doon sa balance point. E at the ano naman itong tatlong ito? They are just a support. You don't need to grab it tight. Hindi mo kailangan i-grab yan ng masyadong mahigpit. Kailangan lang, hawakan mo to ng mahigpit 
with force, itong dalawa, at itong tatlo ay suporta. Okay? Yan po ang tamang paghawak ng drumstick. Now, meron tayo iba't ibang grip na tinatawag. Meron tayong tinatawag na traditional grip. Tulad sa marching band, ito yung mga ginagamit nila. Traditional grip. Meron naman tayong French grip. Patagilid yung kamay. At meron tayong tinatawag na German grip. Pataog. Nakataog po yung kamay. At sa ating mga exercise, ito po yung gagamitin nating German grip. Traditional grip. Now, let us review what we have discussed. Again, what is the role of the numbers that you can see in your drumsticks? Yes, it talks about the sizes of the drumstick. When we say 7A, that means small. Very good. What if 5A? That is medium size. Very good. What if 5B? Very good. It's large size. What if 2B? It's extra large size. What do you call this parts of the drumstick? Very good. It's a tip. This one, yes, it's a shoulder. This one, what do you call this one? Very good. It's a body or shaft. And then the last one, what do you call the last part of the drumstick? Very good, but what do you call this kind of grip? that often they use in the marching band. It's a traditional grip. Very good. This grip. What do you call this grip? French grip. And the last thing, like this. It's a very good German grip. So please like and share and subscribe this channel and click the notification bell for you to become updated for the next videos. Our next topic is all about proper posture in playing drums. Thank you and God bless.